Hello and welcome back to Theme Parts and Attractions. Now today I'm at the Ibis Budget, which is located right by Heathrow Airport. Nice and convenient, only a 20 minute, 25 minute walk away, or you can get a shuttle there. So nice and cheap, nice and convenient. I'm gonna take you in there. Obviously, if you're coming to Heathrow to stay, want somewhere cheap, then this is the place. And I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna take you in there. It's quite nice as well. You've got a bar area up there, lots to do, lots to see. Let's check it out, Ibis Budget, here we go. Before we continue, please can I ask you to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you check it out. Lots of Florida content on the way. Can't wait to fly there tomorrow. Let's get in there. Now, as you walk into the Abyss budget, you've got a couple of machines down here. If you want a drink, if you want something to eat in the night now, parking isn't actually free here. If you do want to park, it's £13 just over here. And this is where you go to pay for it, or you can actually pay per hour just here too. But yeah, 13 pound if you want to stay overnight. Unfortunately though, there's only one lift working, so I'm going to take the stairs. Busy, busy, busy. Now when you do walk in, it's very busy in here at the moment, sorry about the noise. But yeah, this is the reception, obviously you just check in here. And right by the reception is a bar and cafe area, as I was saying. I'm going to take you in there now, and then I'm going to get up to my room and show you what it's like up there. So let's get in the bar area and cafe. going to show you what they've got on offer food wise just over obviously they do the breakfast in here as well but what they've got at the moment i'm not too sure it smells like curry yeah they've got the curry down there a couple of curries not too much but if you just want to grab a bite to eat or something like that then they've got that then nice little bar area and there's also there we go nice little bar area there's a lot also lots of seating around here so you will get a table obviously unless you come in the peak time summer holidays maybe something like that or maybe a saturday night where it'd be a bit busier but yeah lots of seating in here and it's a nice little place. There's the opening time just over there and I'll show you that now. Just as well, they do do pizza by the looks of it. Crispy dough, pizza, you've got crisp brown there. You've got some peanuts as well if you're not interested in the curry on offer. And just over here, as I was saying, opening times. Let's have a look. Breakfast is 6.30 till 10, Monday to Friday. And it's the same for the weekends as well. You've got the restaurant, which is 12 till 10. And in the bar, it's actually open till 12. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually walk up the stairs. I'm actually on floor five at the moment i'm um, not going to take the lift because like i said they're being used at the moment it's quite busy in here and i don't want to take up a lift so i'm going to get up to my room right up there on floor five and i'll see you up there well, i'm on the fifth, fifth floor there we go and let's get to my room and just like that, made it to my room. Now, it was very busy down there. As you can see, there's lots of people around. I didn't want to take one of the lifts up. Obviously, you've got people in there with babies and um, kids as well. There's quite a line for them, actually, after a while. Um, so I thought I'd take the stairs. It's very hot in here, though. So probably because I'm in a fleece, to be honest. But I'm just getting into comfy clothes now. I was in a T-shirt earlier. But yeah, it's quite hot in here. Obviously, I haven't changed the room temperature control in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you around the room right now. Let's go. So let's show you around from the door. Now, I'm going to tell you how much I actually paid for this and why I booked it. It was actually £54, which for me, London Heathrow, £54 is an absolute bargain. I mean, you just want somewhere really to, you just want to lay your head down. Obviously, I've got my flight tomorrow and that's actually late afternoon. So I didn't want anything too special, really. I just wanted somewhere to rest my head. I mean, it's quite decent in there. Nothing too special, but it is everything that you need. Now, just over here, I've got my suitcase. I'm really looking forward to getting back to Florida, but I'm going to talk about that more in tomorrow's vlog. It probably won't be tomorrow's vlog on the channel, but I'm actually leaving tomorrow. Now, I can't wait to get back to Orlando. I'm going to all of the parks there every single park in the area i'm also doing the water parks and i'm also doing bush gardens i can't wait to get back there i usually go once every two years and again it is actually once every two years i was going to wait till epic to open but i thought let's get out there now yeah so i've got my clothes ready were well, some of them ready just over there i've got my bag just down there um yeah you've got tea and coffee facilities around there i've got my skills ready for later i've got my chewing gum just there so yeah i'm all sorted got a nice little chair around there Got a lamp area, got a nice mirror as I was showing you just over there. Now the bed is actually quite decent, it's nice and clean, I'm pretty surprised because Hotel Ibis actually gets a bad rep sometimes, but this one is not too bad, even though it's the budget version, so pretty surprised. I'm not too, not too uh, much of a fan on that to be honest, I mean that could be a lot better couldn't it, but... The rest of the room, I mean, if they had that the same as that, it would actually look a lot better in my opinion, but it might be a bit bland, might not it? What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments, would you take that there, or would you leave it as it is? It looks like a toilet block, doesn't it? 
mean, where does everyone stay pre-travel day when you're actually flying off somewhere? Let me know. Do you stay somewhere more luxurious than this or do you just go basic like me? Just want to get down there, just relax. Obviously, as I was saying, you just want to relax. So I'm going to have a sit on this chair. I mean... It does what it needs to do, doesn't it? It's nothing special. Really should check out that chair, to be honest, and I'm going to do that, actually, right now. Obviously, this is a little bit like school dinners, isn't it? You're sitting down at a table, eating your school dinners. Let's go over there and check that one out. This chair isn't actually that bad. It's definitely better than that one. So, yeah, not too bad at all. I mean, it does what it needs to do, doesn't it? I'm just going to go on YouTube for a little bit, watch a few things, um, catch up on some sleep, and my flight's tomorrow, so job done, really. I don't want somewhere really upmarking expensive because I'm not going to spend any time there, so... I'd really be interested to know, obviously, do you stay somewhere up market? Do you get there nice and early? Do you have drinks there? Um, let me know. Now, I'm going to show you the bathroom area in a minute because we all know you're itching to see the bathroom, aren't you? It's going to be the highlight of your day. But before we do that, I'm just going to make myself a cup of tea. Now, do you drink tea in the evening, coffee in the evening? I like to have a coffee in the morning. Like any time after like four o'clock or something like that, I don't really drink a lot of coffee. I'm more of a tea person. So I'm going to have a nice cup of tea now. And then what I'm going to do is take you in that bathroom. Now, before I show you that, just on the TV just over here, when you turn the TV on, you can obviously watch the normal TV. This is the hotel that I'm staying in. You can see it all lit up. Obviously, it's a little bit dark out there, isn't it? But for a Nibis budget hotel, it doesn't look too bad considering the price I paid, £54. Do you think that's a bargain for Heathrow Airport or near Heathrow Airport anyway? Let me know in the comments. I'm always saying let me know in the comments, so you better let me know. Oh, I can't wait to dig into these as well. I've been itching for these all day. And there's my tea done, so let's get in the bathroom, shall we? Now, we both know it's not going to be huge, don't we? But it's lovely and clean in here. I mean, sometimes you come in these places and they're pretty grubby. Now, if you look up there, everything is literally spotless on here, which I'm really surprised about because, like I said, Ibis Budget Hotel... You wouldn't expect this really, would you? I mean, look how clean it is just over here. Look at this. I'm not too sure about the toilet. I haven't actually looked in there. I mean, it's not too bad, to be honest. Look at that. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, now, obviously, I've just down here, I've obviously got everything laid out ready for tomorrow. That's what you need to do, innit? You don't want to be doing that tomorrow morning when you've got a flight to catch later on. Got my shaver there, toothbrush, toothpaste. Uh, got aftershave there. And yeah, I'm pretty sorted, to be honest. I mean, I'm going to have a nice shower tomorrow. I mean... It's not the best shower I've ever had, but what you can't really complain, can you? 54 quid, lovely and clean, does what it needs to do. Lots of space in here, bright and airy. As I was saying, this is the size of the room. And yeah, does what it needs to do, doesn't it? Gonna go for my tea. Obviously, when you come out the bedroom as well, I've just had my tea now, but, well, I've had a little bit of it. I've had about half of it. When you come out the uh, bathroom just over here, obviously, this is where you set the temperature. So if it is a little bit too hot for you like it is here for me, I might turn that down a little bit. Whack the aircon on and job's done, really. And, yeah, this bed's obviously nice and comfortable as well. I've tried it out as well. It's not as good as the Premier in beds. I mean, I've got a Simba mattress myself back at home, but, yes. Yeah, does the job really nice clean carpet as well it's not grubby or dirty or anything so yeah not too bad got a couple of marks down the door there but apart from that like i said this room is quite decent to be fair and um, the only thing i don't like as i was saying is the back of this wall but i'm not going to be looking at that am i so i'm sure i can live with it now a couple of things that i'm going to actually show you now is the hangers in the room and i'm also going to sh show you where you can actually charge your stuff up and what that what that's like actually in here because obviously you go to some places don't you and you haven't really got enough charge points or anything like that but i'll show you what's actually available now you've got six hangers in there and they're actually decent hangers not too bad at all obviously you'd like a few more of those wouldn't you but that's enough to hang obviously a top pair of jeans or shorts i'm not going to be wearing any jeans after today that's for sure where i'm going but yeah, you've got six hangers there, not too bad at all. Right, as for charge ports, just round here. Now, you have actually got two there, which is quite good on that side of the bed. You've also got two on the other side. Now, just over here, you've got another two there, you've got another two there, and you've got one there as well. So, you're not going to actually struggle with those at all. Now, that is really good because some other places you go to, there's not that many, is there? I mean, I've stayed in quite expensive places before, and you don't get that many sockets for a room this size i'm surprised just how many sockets there are so well done hotel abyss well the budget hotel abyss now i'm hoping that you don't think that this vlog is trash because obviously i've given you as much information as i can um so yeah but the trash is there so if you want to put me in it 
just put me in it. Now what I haven't showed you is out the window view. Now I'm not actually facing the airport, unfortunately the airport is actually on the right hand side. Now this window doesn't actually open either, it's actually locked in here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up a little bit close, you're just going to pretty much see me really so it's pretty pointless. I mean you've got the main road just over here, obviously you can see how long it is can't you? If you just look at that right there, it goes all the way up there um, and I'm going to be honest with you, I actually got dropped off today um, at the wrong Hotel Ibis. There's actually three on this one road. Now, I got dropped off at the other end of the road, which is very un unfortunate, and it's actually a mistake of mine. It was actually 2.8 miles or 2.7 miles away from where I needed to be here, and obviously I didn't have my car with me today. I mean, I didn't really want to park at the airport for two and a half weeks, which I'm going for. Um, so what I did is I got dropped off here, um, and I had, to, I had to actually walk 2.8 miles. I mean, I could have waited for a bus. I didn't know what bus to get or anything like that. So I thought it wasn't raining at the time. So let's just walk down. And it probably took me about oh, 25, 30 minutes. Not too bad at all. Because obviously I stopped off at Tesco for Skittles. So it's a win-win. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enjoy these Skittles. I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoy this travel series. I'm going to be going to Florida. So if you like the Florida content, you might not be watching the Florida content. You might just want to stay here. Obviously, you might be traveling in other places. But if you do want to watch the Florida content coming up, there's so many Florida vlogs from all of the parks out there and they will be next on the channel. Starting off with the travel vlog. I can't wait to get back there. Like I said, I've been it itching to get back there and I'm actually flying with Virgin Atlantic. So... That's actually my favourite airline as well. I'm only going econ economy, but it is what it is, and I can't wait to get back out there and show you those vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate all of your support. Also, drop me a subscribe. Drop me a comment as well. What do you think of all the plug sockets over here? What do you think of that back wall? Let me know in the comments, and as always, I'll see you in the next Shaver and Attractions toothpaste video. Theme Parks and Attractions. See you soon. But before I go, look at this view. I didn't show you the view last night because you couldn't see anything. You can see all around, obviously, the airport's on the right-hand side. And not only will I show you the view outside this morning, obviously, I've just had a shower as well. This shower is really powerful, really enjoyed the shower, and obviously, you've got the free shower gel and shampoo stuff there too. Now, I'm going to get down to my flight, so have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.